Yo guys, back again with another wet race setup. And this one's for a track that has actually seen rain in the past few races, and that's Imola. I'm not going to waste any time, I'm going to jump straight into the setup, and you'll see that I've gone with an aero of 20 at the front and 28 at the rear. As with most wet setups, you want a little bit more downforce than your dry setup, and you do want to focus on the rear a little bit. Even though you're going to understeer in the rain, you still want to have good rear stability so you can actually try and get the power down a little bit easier, which is hard to do in the rain. Moving on to transmission, I've gone 50%, 50%. As I said, this is going to be the setup for pretty much every track in the rain. And then for suspension geometry, I've gone minus 2.7 front camber, minus 1.1 rear, and then 0.07 .07 on the front toe, and then 0.2 on the rear toe. For the suspension, I've gone four at the front, one at the rear, and then five for your front ARBs and one at the rear again. And then a ride height of six at front and rear. That's not too high for a wet setup, but it's enough to stop you aquaplaning, especially if you get on the curbs. For the brakes, I've gone 95% brake pressure and 50% brake bias just to make braking a little bit easier in the rain. And then for the tires, I've gone 24.3 on both fronts and 22.3 on both rears. As I mentioned in my previous setups, you can actually go higher with your tire pressures in the rain than you can in the dry because it's a little bit harder to get heat in your tires. But if you're racing with intermediates or on a drying track, you may want to take that into account and lower your tire pressures a little bit. And that'll do it for our Imola wet race setup for F122. As always, if you find this video useful, hit that like button and let me know in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel because I'll be releasing daily F122 wet setups. But for now guys, I'll see you on track.